Hello Salesforce Ohana, Walters954 here. In this video, I will be going over field level security. So this will be a really quick introduction to field level security. We'll be talking about what it is, what it affects, and we'll be going through some quick examples. Stick around to the end where we will complete this control access to fields module inside of Trailhead. Uh, so if you're having some trouble with that or wanted a deeper explanation, you know, hopefully this will be it. So let's get into it. Field level security, all it is is the ability for a user to access any of the fields on the page. So take for example this order number, we can control as system admins the ability to see, edit, and remove values from this particular field. And that's as, as simple as it gets. Any user that is in the system, you can control which fields they see. And this control goes far beyond just the detail pages that we are looking at. It'll also cascade into reports, list views, um, email templates, and basically anywhere that the user would have access to a particular field, we can control if they can see and use that field or not. And this is good for a couple of different reasons. Um, one is the fact that you may not want people to, certain users to actually see the field at all. So let's take, for example, you have a social security number on your record. You may only want that to be accessible for your HR team. And let's say that sales uh, doesn't need to have access to that. And that's some sort of uh, security breach there. So. Um, that's just one example. Another one would be, let's say that you have a, uh, a value that only uh, you want to show. Let's say marketing can see uh, the opportunity amount, but they can't edit it because they have, they have nothing to do with the actual price of the opportunity. So you would set that field to be read and not edit, um, editable only by sales. So real quick, let's take a look at some of the field level securities and the different ways that we can change it. I'm on an opportunity field here and I clicked into it and we can see that there's this set field level security or FLS and sometimes it's abbreviated to so that you can see that there. Um, and we can see some of the different visibility properties over in this right hand corner. So if it's visible and if it's read only. So right now with all the profiles that we have, everybody has it visible and it is not read only, which means it is editable by everyone. Let's go and check out a different field here to see if we have any different values. Let's check out tracking number. So I clicked into it, uh, set field level security. And here we can see that these fields are, are editable. You know, we're making some visible to some profiles and read only to others. So this is a really good uh, area for us to look at because if we don't want certain users to be able to edit this field at all, we can come over here and mark it as read only. And let's say for system admins, we don't want them to be able to see this tracking number field. So we, we uncheck the visibility for it and we'll hop back into our opportunity in a second so we can, so we can check it out. One other thing I want to point out is that formula fields are read only by nature. Since they're generated and calculated by the Salesforce system, there is no way for us to actually edit them. They are inherently edited by other changes in, in the objects themselves. All right, well, while we wait for the page to refresh, let's check out some of the other places that we can edit field level security from. So if we go over to the profiles, and we look at one of our profiles that we have here. Anyone should be good. Let's try this uh, custom sales profile. And if we go down into this field level security section, we can see that we can actually view this field level security. I think I'm in the old profile updating version, so you might have to go ahead and select, uh, do a search for the particular object that you're looking for to do the edit. But I'm gonna click edit here, and we can see all the fields that we either have read or edit access to. Some of them we cannot check because they're there by default, like lookup fields and created dates and things like that. But other fields, we can uncheck these for that particular profile that we're on. And now they will not have access to those fields or we can change it to be read only from there. So let's go back to the profile. This is one way of um, editing field level security. And the other way is with permission sets. So permission sets actually give access to different values. So uh, if we create a permission set, we can use the field level security to give additional permissions. 
So let's say that our profile does not have read access to the uh, industry. In our permission set, we can give read and edit access to the industry to that particular user. So permission sets are user base where profiles are the general users that are in that profile. All right, so let's go ahead and complete this challenge in this module here. So what we need to do is clone our user profile, name it sales, add some field level permissions for these particular objects, and add a permission set to give field level security access to the rating field. So let's jump into that. Let's go back into the setup, go to our profiles. And they said to use the standard user. Let's view some more here. Standard user, let's clone that, call it sales, spell it right. So we need to give read, create, and edit access to the account object. So let's scroll down to the bottom here where our objects are. Oops, sorry, I need to edit. Now I'm going to scroll down. For our account, we need read, create, and edit. And for the contacts, we need read, create, and edit. Cool. Let's leave delete on for right now and see if we can get away with that one. Hit save. And now we're going to update a field level security on the account for rating. We're going to remove the read and edit access for the ratings field. Now we'll go ahead and create a permission set. We're going to call this rating API name rating. The user license will be Salesforce. And then we're going to go back to the account object. Hit edit here and we're going to give read access and edit access to the account rating field. So what this does, anybody with the sales profile does not have access to update the ratings. But if we assign an individual person this permission set of rating, we are then granting them access to read and edit the rating field on the account. So that's where this whole thing comes together in terms of permission sets, field level security, and the different access you give profiles and users. And finally, you can see here that the tracking number field that we took away for for our user is no longer available, which is all about field level security and how it works. So let's go ahead and check this challenge. Hopefully we have passed it. So that did not work. Uh, let's go back to our sales profile and uncheck the uh, deletes for that account. And contact. There it is. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I really love all, all the support and this request comes out from my mentee so if you guys have any other requests for explanations on anything about Salesforce I'll do my best to explain it. Leave a comment down below or hit me up on LinkedIn I'll be around to answer those questions. If you're new here hit that subscribe button. New videos like this come out every week. If this video was helpful and you learned something new please hit that like button and remember I believe in you.